the U.S. alone, over $20 billion in production losses occur annually due to operator error. I'm Roy Tanner with ABB. In the next few minutes, I'm going to review four different ways that you can help reduce those production losses while increasing safety using operator effectiveness. The situation today is there's a wealth of information that's uh, residing in different pockets or different islands uh, around your facility, but they don't reach the operator in order to help him or her make the best decision possible. Different systems such as electrical, safety, maintenance systems, different PLCs or control systems all have to be brought up together, as well as access to business systems like CMMS or ERP systems to help streamline any procedures to improve operator effectiveness. The next way to improve operator effectiveness is to provide an operator with a high performance environment. This means to help them be aware of what situation is happening, how to handle abnormal situations, and to provide good alarm management practices. In the past, with the new technologies of graphics coming out, way too many colors were used, really hiding different conditions that were occurring to allow operators to react to it. Also, alarms were configured without really a reason, which caused alarm floods and different problems, really keeping operators from noticing the true problems that they needed to react to. The third way to improve operator effectiveness is to provide the operator with an ergonomic environment. In the past when control rooms were designed, the operator wasn't really considered. This led to high turnover and health issues. What's needed is an environment that promotes alertness and allows operators to focus on the status of the facility for long periods of time. The fourth and final way to improve operator effectiveness is to provide competent operators. Many times simulation is used for operator training, but it's not using the actual environment that's used on a daily basis when operating their facility. What's needed is to take that environment, the actual environment used in production, and move that to the training simulator. This provides the best chance for success for operators to handle abnormal situations as they occur in your facility. True operator effectiveness is more than a product or a set of graphic symbols. It's a strategy that has to be undertaken by your management and your operations staff. Integrated operations, having a high performance environment, allowing for human factors, and providing operator competency all have to work together to reduce production losses and increase operator effectiveness. I'm Roy Tanner with ABB. Thank you.